A military helicopter is a helicopter that is either specifically built or converted for use by military forces. A military helicopter's mission is a function of its design or conversion. The most common use of military helicopters is transport of troops, but transport helicopters can be modified or converted to perform other missions, such as combat search and rescue, or CSAR, medical evacuation, or medevac, airborne command post, or even armed with weapons for attacking ground units. Specialized military helicopters are intended to conduct specific missions. Examples of specialized military helicopters are attack helicopters, observation helicopters, and anti-submarine warfare helicopters. And one of the most famous is the Sikorsky CH-53 Super Stallion. Super Stallion is a big name to live up to. It evokes visions of a reliable yet powerful beast capable of carrying large loads across impressive distances. But luckily, this heavy lift helicopter does exactly that. The aircraft has been a mainstay in the U.S. Marine Fleet for several decades now and is still going strong. Although the vehicle is now at the end of its life, it's served the United States military excellently since it's been in operation. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the origins of this beast as well as taking a closer look at the stallion. The original CH-53 was born out of the U.S. Marine's heavy helicopter experimental competition that started in 1962. Sikorsky, a company owned by engineering giant Lockheed Martin, produced what was known as the S-65, which was selected over Boeing's equivalent version. A prototype dubbed YCH-53A made its maiden flight in October 1964. It was then called the CH-53A Sea Stallion, with the CH standing for Cargo Helicopter. It went into production and began delivery of the initial helicopters to the military in 1966. In their first iteration, these were powered by two General Electric T-64 GE6 turboshaft engines with 2,850 shaft horsepower, which could carry a maximum gross weight of 46,000 pounds, with 20,000 pounds of payload. Variants of the original Sea Stallion include the RH-53 AD, which were used for minesweeping, then there were the CH-53D, CH-53G, and MH-53HJM. The CH-53D had a more powerful version of the General Electric T-64 engines. Then in October 1967, the U.S. Marine Corps needed a helicopter with a lifting capacity 1.8 times that of the CH-53D, but which could still land on amphibious warfare ships. Sikorsky was already working on an upgrade to the D model, which featured a third turboshaft engine as well as more power in the rotor system. This was known as the S-80 design, which would eventually evolve into the YCH-53E prototype with a seventh rotor blade. This would make its first flight in 1974. Other changes were also seen on the E model versus the previous version. These were a stronger transmission and a fuselage. The main rotor blades were adjusted to be produced with the titanium fiberglass composite. The tail configuration, which previously had a low-mounted symmetrical horizontal design, was improved with a larger vertical tail. Another significant improvement was the new automatic flight control system. This would help prevent the pilot from overstressing the aircraft. There were further changes in the development and prototype phase, which led to an initial production contract which was awarded in 1978. Introduction into military service came three years after, in February 1981. In total, the Marines and Navy chose to purchase an initial order of 177 helicopters. Over their current lifespan, a total of 227 machines have been built, and 180 of them are still in operation. At the time of this video, the Super Stallion is the largest and heaviest helicopter used by the U.S. military. Its massive payloads and weight the aircraft is expected to carry means the helicopter needs to be able to withstand these demands. The CH-53E is expected to remain in service until 2025, until the CH-53K King Stallion, also designed by Sikorsky, takes its place. It can reach speeds of 172 miles per hour with a range of 621 miles. The upgrades from its previous version means that three General Electric T-64 GD416 turboshaft engines propel the aircraft, carrying a crew of four, a pilot, co-pilot, crew chief, and mechanic slash gunner. The Super Stallion is equipped with GPS, Doppler radar, and ANVIS HUD sensors. In terms of weaponry, it carries 7.62mm and 50 caliber guns. For communications, it has ultra-high frequency, 
very high frequency and high frequency radios, as well as IFF identification systems. Impressively, it can carry a 26,000 pound light armored vehicle, 16 tons of cargo at a range of 50 miles and back. It can carry 37 troops or 55 soldiers with centerline seats installed. Alternatively, its cargo lifting capability is a maximum weight of 13.6 tons internally or 14.5 tons outside the vehicle. It's also capable of lifting an LAV-25 armored vehicle or M198 howitzer complete with crew and ammunition. Its window-mounted 50 caliber machine guns, chaff and flare dispensers are present for anti-air defense. It's also equipped with an in-flight refueling probe for limitless range and a forward-looking infrared imager for night flying and navigation in all weathers. This equipment makes assault transport of Marine ground forces a lot smoother in all conditions. The Stallion's capability of being able to resupply Marines at the front line super quickly is what sets this helicopter apart from its peers. In 2000, after two decades of service, the U.S. Marine Corps announced a program to upgrade the Stallion to extend its service life to 2025. These upgrades saw improvements including a new engine, a large increase in payload capacity, all composite rotor, elastomeric rotor head, and a glass cockpit with fly-by-wire controls. There is a variant of the Stallion known as the MH-53E Sea Dragon. This was requested by the Navy for airborne anti-mine missions. To help carry out this role, it has enlarged sponsons to give the helicopter significantly more fuel storage and endurance. It can be fitted with up to seven 300 US gallon ferry tanks internally. The digital flight control system has also had bespoke changes to help tow minesweeping gear. The prototype of this aircraft made its first flight towards the end of 1981 and was introduced into the Navy at the beginning of 1986. A total of 46 Sea Dragons were purchased by the Navy. Sikorsky CH-53E Super Stallion represents a workhorse of the U.S. military. The heavy load helicopter has now been in service longer than many people watching this video have been alive, and the weight that it can carry defies logic when you take into account the size and ability of the aircraft. It took many iterations for Sikorsky to get to the point of introducing the helicopter into service, but when it did, it wasn't going anywhere for many years. The Stallion may now be in its twilight, but the U.S. owes a huge amount to this loyal water carrier. What do you think of the Super Stallion? Let us know in the comments, and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Spotlight for more. Thanks for watching.